Hello everybody, my name is Hedley Quintana uh, and I would like to talk to you about uh, why actually feminism doesn't seem to be something very nice. Uh, let's talk about this thing. Okay, I actually show a feminist friend uh, a YouTube list. See, this YouTube list is called the the little. Is it? It's in Spanish uh, playlist, and it's named the Little Screw. And in this Little Screw uh, playlist presentation, this lovely lady actually start to spew a lot of hate against men. In short, she said that women are in Spanish. She said that women are just frail human beings, and men are monsters who want to break them. Very simple. It's a long list of 74 videos, but in general, it is the 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 actually uh, repeating topics in all of these videos. When I showed this uh, video to a feminist friends, she replies that he, this woman, doesn't follow the feminists I follow. But it actually could uh, 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 could be a very nice answer. However. I say not so fast because the feminists that she follows uh, have some problems, and let me show you why this this feminist actually has some problems. First, actually, this uh, beautiful lady is is Dilma Rousseff. She is the president of Brazil, and she has been impeached through a corruption scandal. In summary, she was uh, there was an operation called the car wash operation, and and during that operation the police uh, state that Petrobras, a, a company in Brazil, was actually placed in the, in the center of our, our corruption network while this, per this beautiful lady was actually sharing the company. W uh, she uh, categor categorically states that she has no knowledge about any wrongdoings doing by the company and uh, uh, I, I will actually give a uh, a link to this presentation with all of these sources that you can click to see to 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 learn more about the this case okay uh, let's go to the next um, slide okay i will actually try to to make a, a little role game about uh, what could be a defense for this lady. One of the defense, actually, I could say that the trial is illegal because it doesn't follow normal procedure or was not actually according to the constitution or whatever. I can say that it could be a complot of the opposition because actually, since she's the president, she has to be is judged by the by the Congress of Brazil, and uh, there was a complot actually to get an unfavorable voting during the trial. Another defense that I could say that the evidence is true, but uh, probably it shows no wrongdoing uh, in her in her side, or maybe the 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 evidence was illegally obtained, or maybe the evidence was fabricated. Who knows? So these are the the different uh, uh, defenses against the, this woman trying to actually clarify why she is innocent. However. Then actually come the feminist part. Actually, there was one feminist talking about patriarchy as a, as a, as a, one of the defense about the, this woman. Actually, it was the uh, the thing actually have nothing to do with anything of this. It's, it's actually more related to patriarchy. Because patriarchy is the main cause of this woman to be a judge and actually declare guilty. Let's talk about this. Uh, beautiful, another beautiful lady from Brazil. Uh, her name is Nadine Gassman, and Nadine Gassman actually represents UN Women in Brazil. What she says about that, the the statement? Let me let, let me see. Let me read what he says. He says, as a defender of women's and girls' right around the world, UN Women condemn all forms of violence against women, including the political violence of a sexist nature directed against President Dilma Rousseff. Ah, no political disagreement or protest can justify the trivialization of gender violence. A patriarchy, you, you see, patriarchy, 
and my misogynous practices of invali that invalidates human dignity. So it means that, that according to this uh, lady, uh, Miss Rousseff cannot be judged because she's a woman. And woman, uh, if you try to actually impeach a woman, we have, again, have nothing to do with, with these things. Uh, is actually the real reason uh, uh, this uh, woman cannot be impeached. Okay, just to use for fun, let's let's actually uh, make a thought experiment. Actually, let's say that during the United States elections, me, uh, Hillary Clinton wins elections, and she becomes the first female president of United States. And let's say that in a couple of months, she decided to engage in a World War III. And in addition to that, she went actually to, to go back slavery from the, from the grave. Let's say, that's a, as a fun experiment, actually. So do you think, uh, Nadine Gassman, that if I actually criticize Hillary Clinton actually for taking these actions, Am I sexist? I am misogynist. Well, food for thought. See you next time.